What's up guys, Grim here. Now, I want to first start out this video by saying that if you guys are interested in a PvP guild, our guild is up and running and we've already got lots and lots of people joining. It's very, very cool. I'm already doing war fronts with these guys, doing conquest matches with them, helping them out. You know, a lot of them joined before they were level 60 and had questions about PvP. I've been helping them out a lot and you know it it makes it really fun for me to have people that are willing to learn and then you know once they hit 60 we get to fight together and have lots of fun so if you guys are interested in the guild I will put uh, the name right up there sound good to you guys all right so this is a Void Knight build video. Now this is mainly geared towards uh, Conquest because you won't want to really run this kind of build in a war front unless you're carrying the Fang or something like that. Even carrying the Fang isn't all that good because you know in Black Garden whenever you pick up the Fang and you take damage over time and everybody's trying to heal you, it's a percentage of your health. So if you're Void Knight and you've got 50 something thousand hit points, if you take 10% of life, it's going to be, you know, 5,000 damage that you take right off the bat. Well, if somebody else is holding it, it's a lot less damage because their, uh, their hit point total is lower, so it's a lot easier to heal them. And it's the same for like Library of Rune Masters. It's not as much hit points on a lot of these other people so really you don't want to run this and anything else but conquest unless you're doing like dungeons or something like that it, it might be wor uh, working in dungeons but this is a pvp video mainly so uh, it might work in pve but we're sticking to pvp here so this is a void knight spec and this is pretty much the build provided by lou jane uh, it's uh, Lou Jane is one of the Hello Kitty group so you know if you if you ever see him say thanks for the Void Knight video Grim Grim made the video around your build so here we go starting off we got 61 into Void Knight 15 into Paladin and 5 points goes into Stalwart Shield three points goes into aggressive guardian one point goes into shield of the hero one point goes into steady aggression and five points goes into enduring and then our third soul that we don't have any points into is tempest mainly for just shock pulse as many of you know warriors pretty much need shock pulse so that's the build right there and I will have it in the de description below so you guys can just click it and see it a lot better if you can't see it very good in the video for whatever reason okay now let's go to the macros oops wrong button macros oh I think it's kind of okay yeah yeah here we are here's my cleanse macro now this is just in case you know we need to throw an extra cleanse if people in our group aren't cleansing good enough so this is a really long macro basically it's just a uh, show spell breaker suppress macro failures cast at self spell breaker cast at mouse over UI spell breaker and that that's just so you can mouse over somebody's name in particular if you want to cleanse them and then we got the big group spam there you know all the way down just in case we need to uh, just spam the button and uh, cleanse members of our party okay that's an easy one just long okay here's our single target attack here 
And as you can see, I got it in my number one there because, you know, it, most likely I'll be fighting people one on one, you know. Well, it'll be groups of people, but I'll be hitting one person at a time. And if they're grouped together, I'll do AoE attacks. So we got Show, Reckless Strike, Suppress Macro Failures. Cast at self spellbreaker. Cast reckless strike. Cast spell sunder. Cast discharge. Cast shock pulse. Cast retaliation. All right, and this is our AOE attack while we're in the middle of this group or whatever during a conquest. It's show tempest. Suppress macro failures, cast tempest, cast at self spellbreaker, cast rage storm, cast void storm, cast retaliation. Okay, and as you get your combo points up, you will want to do finishers. And this is the DPS finisher if not, you're not really taking that much damage. Okay, it starts off with Show Devouring Blow, Suppress Macro Failures, Cast Rift Reversal, Cast Devouring Blow, Cast Aggressive Block. And then here's our Shield Finisher basically if you're taking damage and you need to spend the combo points into shielding yourself. Show Devouring Shield. Suppress Macro Failures, Cast Rift Reversal, Cast Devouring Shield, Cast Aggressive Block. Okay, that's your main spams right there, you know, your single target, your AoE, and then your finishers depending on the situation. So here's the pull macro. You know, because that's what really makes Void Knights stick out. You know, not only can they take the damage, but whenever they pull people, they pull whole groups of people in. So, this is a very, very important macro right here. Okay, you got Show, Void Summon, Suppress Macro Failures, Cast Void Summon, Cast Rift Summon, Cast Spark. And I got more macros down here. I just had to sip. Oh, I got one more. Uh, this is um, whenever you're a Void Knight, you will build up packs. And as you're building them up, they'll show up here at the, you know, right under your name. Stolen Magic Energy there. You see pack. Well, as you build up packs, you can spin them into different abilities. And this macro right here lets you spin the packs uh, into minor defensive abilities, which you know help shield you. So this macro is show protective shield, suppress macro failures, cast protective shield, cast rift shield. All right, that's our macros. And we'll go over what's on my bar here. Uh, there are definitely more abilities and stuff that you can add to your bar because there's so much versatility to Void Knights. I mean, they've got knockbacks, they've got interrupts, they've got silences, they've got AoE silences, they've got so much stuff going for them. And it's just your choice of which ones you're wanting to use, what you have buttons for, and everything like that. Because you'll have plenty of stuff to do while you're in the middle of that enemy group, trust me. Okay. My number one button right there is my uh, single target damage. And then I got my AoE damage on my next button. And then I got my two finishers. The first one is the DPS one. The second one is the shield one. And then I got the cleanse macro there. And then we got the pull macro. And then shock burst, which silences up to five enemies for eight seconds. And then we got the minor defensive uh, packed user. So it uses up your packs to do minor uh, shields. And then we got the big one. This is the, the 
the shield packed user that is you know the granddaddy of them all it consumes up to five packs absorbing damage equal to 15 percent of the warrior's maximum health per pack consumed for 20 seconds so yeah what's that like 75 percent of your maximum health it's going to absorb uh, in damage dealt to you so it's pretty nice that's the one that you pop whenever you're getting a lot of damage alright then we got our interrupt here which is furious rage we got shock which silences a single target for five seconds void propulsion which hurls the enemy back 15 meters and then we got spell destruction this creates a f uh, field of negative energy which removes one buff from up to five enemies and one poison curse or disease from up to five allies each second for five seconds all right and of course you got guard there you want to put guard on here uh your healers and stuff like that try to protect them and what guard does it's 25 percent of the targets damage from players is intercepted by the warrior so it helps your healer stay alive which makes you stay alive all right let's go into the buffs here the buffs that we use is unstable void void accord of power Accord of Resilience, Accord of the Rift, Accord of Shifting, Enhanced Conductivity, Shield of the Hero, and of course Guild Buffs, you know, stuff like that. Alright, now how you play this build is it, it seems easy but whenever you're in the heat of the moment it's a little more difficult because you're taking so much damage and you get to worrying about what's going on okay let's say you're going up and this is a group of players that's all standing here well you'll go up and you'll start hitting your AOE macro so we start hitting everything there and we got our combo points built up already and you see the packs building up up here two three and it'll build up more well let's go ahead and hit a shield finisher but as we're building up these packs well uh, believe me you'll be taking a lot of damage while you're in this conquest because you're the guy that's supposed to be taking the damage all right let's go ahead and do a single target let's go ahead and build up the packs real fast you'll build up packs extremely fast in a conquest all right you see that the packs are up to six let's go ahead and hit one of our defensives right there see we used up our packs and we've got extra shielding there as you can see so it's a lot to keep an eye on while you're sitting there hitting all these players and you know all this damage is being dealt to you you're seeing your health bar flying down and healers trying to keep you alive and you've got to keep your eye on your packs up here you know or wherever you have your health bar at you know you got to keep your eye on your packs so you know when to blow those uh, uh, packs into a defensive cooldown okay we're going to hit our big one there you see that big shield that just happened over our health bar that's a that's a granddaddy uh, ability right there that that thing will protect you big time so as you're taking all this damage and you're hitting your single target or AOE if there's plenty of players around you and then you'll be using your DPS finisher whenever you get the three pat uh, three uh, uh, little swords there the combo combo points and you'll hit you know either your DPS finisher or your shield finisher depending on if you're taking damage and 
Well, okay, that seems simple enough. You know, just those two things. You're hitting your damaging ability, and then you're hitting a finisher. But you got a choice between the two on each of them. Which builder are you going to use? The single target or the AoE? Okay, and the finishers. Which are you going to use? The DPS or the shield? So you, you have to practice at this build because that's not your only choices. While you're doing all that, if you see your cleanse light up you might need to cleanse yourself you know if your group isn't doing it well then you need to pull people in remember that's what makes void knight really really good is its ability to pull all these players into your dps and that dps is just going to light them up so once you pull them in say that this is a group of players right here and you are always at the front of your group you are the guy that whenever they tab to target somebody they're going to target you that's what you want so they all start hitting you well you go ahead and click on somebody or tab target whatever you like and then you hit your pull you know if i could pull these dummies in they would all fly right in front of me right then okay your next job is to you know don't worry about hitting them right yet don't worry about hitting these guys that you just all pulled in wait a couple of seconds because they're rooted whenever they get pulled in so they're about to turn around and try to run away and some of these guys got abilities and stuff like that that they uh, spells that they could pop to get away so you wait those couple of seconds and then you use shock burst because not only did you pull all these players into your DPS, now you're going to silence them. So they can't do hardly anything. They're just running for their lives hoping they get away. And they're running on foot because their spells aren't working. And that's a real important job of yours. You got to pull them in and then silence them. Don't use that silence too fast because it will not work. It will say they're all immune. So you need to wait a couple of seconds and then hit the silence and then it'll silence all of them. And a lot of the time if your pull is down, you've got two pulls there, mind you. But if your pulls are down, you might be in the middle of all these players out here trying to get them to hit you. Just make sure you don't run too far away from your healers because that's very important too. If, you're, if your healers have got to move up to target you because you're so far away, that means that they're getting at the front line and they're gonna get nuked. So you're gonna kill your whole group if you pull too far away. All right, so say I pull these guys in, I silence them. Well, I'm not worried about hitting these guys. I'm gonna go up and hit the people that I couldn't pull in. So I'm gonna run up and I'm going to, while those guys are back there getting nuked by my DPS, I'm going to run up and I'm going to start AOEing. You know, use my combos and the shields. I see my packs are built up. Let's go ahead and blow some defensives. You know, take for instance, I'm taking damage right now. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and hit Spell Destruction. That's going to strip away their buffs and... Uh, cleanse your allies so we're going to hit that now all these guys are getting their buffs stripped away every second and we're going to keep AOEing and keep shielding and we got packs built up so we're going to blow the big pack right there and you see what's going on it's all about staying alive You're not your job is not to do damage as a void knight your job is to go out there and take the damage and survive it and try to hinder the enemies as much as possible. You've got other group members that are there to kill these people. Your job is to make sure they don't get killed so they can do their job. So go up there, just do your AOEs, do your finisher, go ahead and pop your defenses as your packs come up. You see these packs building up? You know, it's, it's actually really simple but in the heat of the moment while you're taking all that damage it's easy to panic a little bit so yeah
because your life is going to be flying down and you're like, oh man, oh man, I got to blow defensive, defensive, you know, and you're just hoping your healers are keeping you alive and stuff like that. So I think that's the, that's about all. Yeah, I think that's about all for this build. Um, make sure that you got shields on, you know. Make sure you got your shield on there uh, and have a Void Knight crystal. You definitely don't want to have a different crystal. So, I think that's about it. Yeah. Alright guys. Um, oh, also whenever you're PvPing and stuff like that, you know, I don't really say it too much in the other videos because it's, it is important, but in this one it's even more important to make sure that you have your consumables such as like the mercenaries armor plating that gives your chest piece extra armor you know just stuff like that and I also use a planar ability called uh, vampiric essence I put that on my sword that way I can while I'm doing damage to these people I can also be healing so you know it's got a vampiric ability you know drains life from the enemies so that's pretty nice to have you know it's it's not something required or even something that a lot of people would even consider using but I like using it so well guys I think that's a Void Knight spec and like I said at the beginning of the video if you guys are looking for uh, groups to PvP with our guild is recruiting and uh, we're having lots of fun together as usual my name is Grim and I'll see you tomorrow.